the magic of science can never be experienced by the scientist but definitely by the end user ask a person who has just come out of a blindness operation and now he's able to see ask a person who is now able to walk after a knee replacement surgery ask a person who is able to now breathe after recovering from covid or ask a person who has got a pacemaker implant recently all this is science but scientists translated their work into magic now in today's era we are living in the world of computers so definitely what has been achieved in last 70 years can be achieved in the next 7 years that's the speed at which we are moving today and as a scientist you will have that satisfaction of creating world class solutions for people around now imagine you could find a cure to hiv or to cancer or to monkeypox covid or no matter whatever all this can be done today with the help of computers and of course your knowledge of biology yes you heard me right biology is the base of life and if you can accelerate this biological research using computers then you are unstoppable just like a bullet train right so today in this video we are going to look at the magic of python and r and biopython and how it is contributing towards the biological research and how and what you can do using biopython and python and r and we will also showcase some of the projects some of some of the research projects which we are doing in biotechnica with our pharmaceutical partners now just to give you a glimpse of it we started biotechnica as a tech company now but now we are transitioning into a bioinformatics and ai ml research company because there is so much money in this and i want my subscribers not to be left behind i want you to be earning more in the future and that's why i want you to learn python r and bye bye so quickly guys i'm going to take you across 5 minutes to show you a glimpse of what we are doing and what you could be doing so imagine that you did a gene sequencing or you did uh, some kind of protein expression experiment or some clinical trial and now that you have data now this data might be crude might require some kind of refinement so what if i tell you that you could automatically clean manipulate and interpret data from all these experiments which you just did and now use some softwares like ggplot2 or matplotlib or seaborn to create a insightful graph and now even so you have plotted that graph the data visualization gives you more glimpses into the problem and now you can find a better solution so that is where python and r will come into picture so data analysis and visualization that's my first point guys you have done some genomic sequencing experiment gene sequencing experiment you have the genomic data now you can go ahead and plot it and find out what exactly is the conclusion so you can get conclusions out of the experiment mega set of data or data also can be clean manipulated and filtered and interpreted under this so ggplotlib you will you learn under python under r and then under python you will learn matplotlib now coming to bioinformatics again once you have learned coding you can implement that in bioinformatics also ai ml also so let us understand say that nursery class is coding lkg is um, bioinformatics and ukg is ai ml that's the, that's how the level is so unless you learn coding if you go for bioinformatics also you will still have to come back and learn coding right so what exactly you can do in bioinformatics now python and r are widely used in bioinformatics for task like dna and rna sequence analysis sequence alignment and motif discovery now tools like biopython which i told you which is a part of python again and bioconductor under r will help in managing biological sequences genomes and other bioinformatics data efficiently so that is where you can utilize coding python and r in your biological data now moving ahead of course your experiment will be full of data so there you need statistics and you need to analyze that data so statistical analysis that's my third point using coding biopython r you can do statistical analysis in biological research and especially with r and uh, once you are strong in this area you can use packages like lme4 and stats which will enable you to perform advanced statistical tests 
regression models and more. Now Python has got a library called the SkyPy and Chats models which also offers similar capabilities for statistical computing. So you can utilize your uh, coding knowledge, these free libraries which are there and of course learning is also very interesting because Python and R is like just like a regular human language, it has nothing to do with maths. It's like you how you talk in English, the same way you talk to computers in English, just you have to follow a format. Here the comma and semicolons and the brackets comes into picture while it will not be there in regular English language, right? This is how Python and R works. Now, imagine that if you could do these research, so first you have to learn obviously, and once you have learned, you can work at Biotechnica or with our partner companies on various such projects. I'll give you a glimpse of around seven to eight uh, projects or maybe more if, I, if time permits, which will give you a glimpse of what we are doing at Biotechnica for our pharmaceutical companies, right? So uh, the first experiment which we are doing or the first uh, project which we have is called as Genomic Data Visualization, where we are developing an integrated bioinformatics tool for visualizing and exploring genomic data, including gene expression profiles with its mutation. Now followed by that, the next one which we are doing is very exciting. That is 3D protein structure and drug visualizer and analysis tool. So we are creating a tool which will help us create a 3D protein structure. We'll be able to visualize the 3D protein structure and we will allow the detailed analysis of protein triggered interactions with a drug. So that is a second project which we have. Now followed by that, we are also doing a coding tool. We are developing a coding tool in the microbiome diversity. This will be under Dr. Elamati. So the first project which I told you was under Dr. Nilofar Sheikh. The second project which I told you is being undertaken by Mr. Pradyat Banaji. The third one is by Dr. Alamati. Now the fourth one which we have, we are working on CRISPR-Cas9 target site analysis using bioinformatics tools. So we are going to develop a bioinformatics tool and you can be a part of that. And we will create an intuitive web interface to predict optimal CRISPR-Cas9 target sites in genomic sequences for gene editing research. Now followed by that, there is another project which we are working on is Cancer Mutation Signature Analysis App. So we are going to develop an app and you can be working on this with our uh, team of partners and scientists. So we are going to develop a user-friendly software tool to analyze mutational signatures in cancer genomics, uncovering the patterns that can guide the therapeutic strategies. So I just told you five, probably I can tell you more if in, in the next few videos. But now comes the next part. See, we can develop a tool which solves a problem, but now we can extrapolate that. And that is where artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning comes into picture. So we are going to utilize these languages to apply in machine learning algorithms. We are going to develop that for biological data and we will predict disease outcomes and drug responses to various diseases. And we're going to use libraries such as SkyKitLearn in Python and Carrot in R, which will allow the researchers, our researchers, to build and train and deploy models to classify, cluster or predict biological phenomena. Imagine you could predict a biological phenomena even before it has happened in a human body using machine learning. That is where you can work with us. Now, of course, we are going to create tools which will help us to do a lot of repetitive tasks like biological statistical analysis. We are working on various biogenomics and proteomics analysis in Biotechnica where you can be a part of. And now coming to the question, how can you be a part of this? So you can take the training at Biotechnica irrespective of whatever is your background. You can take this training at Biotechnica which is starting from 7th of October. Okay, evening, one hour, one and a half hour, two hour, we will be training you on Python, BioPython, R and various coding for biologist languages such as CADD. Now, using that, you will be developing these tools in our projects. And then, of course, if you are good enough, you can publish papers, you can get recommendation letters. And of course, if you are able to publish more than two papers, we will ourselves you know, absorb you as an employee. That's a guarantee. So we are looking for more trained people in this direction. And if you are the one, then all you have to do is apply today. The link is given in the description. Remember, we take limited students for training and then we will put them into projects. The projects will be for three months, six months and one year. And these projects can be done online. Our expert scientists will be there online and they can interact with you and they will guide you and you will be able to do these projects, right? So all these details, of course, you can WhatsApp us also. The link is given in the description to WhatsApp us. So go ahead. 
Enroll yourself into this Coding for Biologist initiative of Biotechnica and learn Python, BioPython, R and become a champion of biological discovery. Create such tools which will change the way biology is researched, discovered or interpreted and you can be the next Bill Gates of our industry. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.